Okay, so we'll do a real quick video because someone's asked for it. We're going to go through downloading and getting stuff set up to work in C Sharp with Godot. So over here, we're on godotengine.org. Under the downloads here, there are two different versions. The C Sharp support is obviously the one that we want. And we want to grab 64-bit because most of you are going to be running 64-bit. I'm assuming you're all running Windows, but if not, you've got the various options up here. The other things that you require are our Visual Studio build tools. The easiest way I found to reliably install these is just install Visual Studio Community Edition. It's entirely free. It'll give you Visual Studio, which is amazing if you're gonna be writing C Sharp. For Godot, I often use Visual Studio Code because it's nice and simple. You'll still need to either install Visual Studio to get the build tools or come further down here and just install the build tools by themselves. And then you can grab Visual Studio Code as well. Once you've got those downloaded, in Visual Studio, we'll install some plugin. Uh, you'll have a brand new project. So it'll look something like this. You've got this little extensions button here. You can come over into here and just search for C Sharp Godot. And one of the top results here is C Sharp Tools for Godot, created by Ignacio, I'm not going to butcher their last name, but you want to install this. Installing this will also install the C Sharp tools. There is Godot tools if you want to use VS Code for GD Script stuff, but I wouldn't bother with it for now. The C Sharp tools is all we need. Next, we'll fire up Godot and we'll start ourselves a project. So here in our new project thing, we'll create a hello world. It can be in my documents folder, that's fine. So once you've fired up Godot here, let's create a really simple little scene. We'll make a spatial thing. We'll add a sprite. We can stick our icon here onto the sprite and let's just drag it down into the middle of our screen somewhere. Let's go into our editor settings here and under mono and then editor, you can pick an external editor. So I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. If you're using Visual Studio, just set that. Godot should then just handle everything for you. So if we add a script here, change it from GD script to C sharp, you can set it in a sensible folder. I'm just going to leave it as the default. And now that it's created us a new script, if we click to open that, it will open up in VS code. Once VS code fires up here, you can look in the Explorer, you can see all your project files. Next thing we want to do is run something. Now the easy way is to go run, add configuration, and then in this list, you pick C Sharp Godot. That will create a launch JSON for you. If this is mangled and doesn't do what you want, you can always delete this file here, .vs code launch JSON. But this sets us up, so if we hit F5, it tries to play in the editor. And over here in Godot, because we hadn't set the main scene, we need to select one. So if we just select our one scene that we have, everything all connects together. So very simple game. Nothing exciting. If we jump back to our code, let's actually make it do something. So we'll use our process method here. Control K U can uncomment stuff. Control K C comments it again. And in here, we'll just update our position. C sharp is basically the same as GD script all the time, except in GD script where you're doing underscore between things, the C sharp equivalent is to capitalize them. So if we want to do something really simple, let's just take our position. See, we get autocomplete and everything. We will say our position is now a new vector two using our current X position plus three and our current Y position. So we're just going to move our character increasingly further to the right. If we jump back to here, we can just hit run, which will build it and then run it. Our project fires up and our little character runs off to the side of the screen. So now that these are hooked together, we can debug in things as well. So we just hit F5, it will fire up our game, and then our breakpoint here gets hit. We can see that our script here has a bunch of variables. It's named sprite. It has a rotation and a scale and all of that. We can continue, which is going to pause again almost immediately because our next process, that's called every frame. And then we can remove our breakpoint and just hit play just let the game run out just in time to see our guy run off the screen so that's all there is you've got godot set up you can start writing c-sharp scripts you can debug them go have fun
If you're looking for a project to do now that you have everything set up, I have started a playlist for a Tron inspired cyberpunk 3D puzzle game. I don't know what that project's going to look like at the end, but for now you can run around and open and close doors and things, so if that sounds like something you want to check out, that playlist is over on the side here. Thanks for watching!